Hi guys, it's the ghost. I wanted to respond to some of your comments about Cora. This job was a heavy one and it had a couple of sides, right? Logan and all the boys, you know, they worked very hard their whole lives to forget and try to do good. They worked hard, had families, all that stuff. It was very emotional for them. This is a very serious thing. However, Cora was the one that was wronged all around and her daughter. So what does someone do? Well, I loved seeing you guys engage with me on this because I like to know what you think. Because believe me, a lot of your questions and comments are things I'm faced with every single day, that type of thing. So I thought I would pull out a few of the comments and give you some of my own feedback. So let's get started. The first one I had, and I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing this right, is from Bryn Mawr Lan. It says, the kids didn't deserve to die, but Logan deserves to get justice for what he did to Cora's daughter. And there's a reply. Tend to hope he gets justice at the other end, but she has damned herself by killing innocents as well now. I saw this comment and reply, and this really says something. I mean, it's funny how getting justice or being on the side of right can be what it is one day, but then depending on your actions, it can flip on you. And this goes for all things. You know, you have a fight with someone and you're right. You know, I mean, you are really right. But then you do something and then you become the bad guy. It happens every day. In this case, Cora had already done bad deeds by the time I got there. She wasn't, you know, looking for someone to help make sure the boys went down for this, you know, real, like a cold case. She made it an active case, and now it was the boys who were the victims. So then you have both sides that both have done wrong, really wrong. So whose side should you be on? I ended up on the side that helped stop it, at least for a while. Okay, then you have Kelvin Hart. And he says, okay, this doesn't make sense. Why didn't Cora just leave after you captured the physical body of Logan? I've dealt with a couple of debuks myself. It doesn't work like that. Not even close. Okay, well, hi, Calvin Hart. Great comment. However, I did explain Logan was her last stop. To leave Logan wouldn't have made a whole lot of sense to her because there's nothing else for her to do. That was her mission stick by Logan, and eventually Logan would be back with his children. I mean, if we would have waited too long, who can really predict what would have happened? But we did move fast. And also, I'm extremely interested in your dealings. I would love for you to share with us what happened with you when you had to deal with the other side. I'm sure there are a lot of people here that would love to hear your story, so comment. Send it our way. You know, no ghosts work the same. There's not a user guide for dealing with spirits on the other side. Some are friendly, some are hurting, and some are very manipulative. It's definitely not very awesome when they're revengeful. And just remember, none of us have the same histories making us who we are. We all have different tendencies and things that make us unique. And these souls that haven't fully crossed, they're the same way. They are us, only they're stuck. The next one I want to bring up here is from James Smith, who says, It must suck being on the side of good and helping the side of bad. I always look forward to hear your missions. Hi, James Smith. It's another interesting and good point. I would love to say that all of my jobs make me a hero for the good guy, but that simply is not true. Yes, I do these jobs for the money. I do the jobs for the situation. With this job here, I would have loved to have helped Cora. Could we have caught it in time? But with the mess that was already made, put everyone in a tough position. I mean, she did deserve the original justice. But with the situation she created after, you could have been on either side. Sometimes it's just the luck of the drop. And who gets me first? And like I tell you guys, there are jobs I do turn down. But those aren't the jobs I'm talking about here. But thank you for the comment, James. I really appreciated it. The next one I'd like to comment back on is from R. True Feather, who says, You do realize that they were already possessed by some evil force when they raped and killed that nine-year-old, and there was no ghost. This force was playing on their fears and guilt. They got what they deserved, so why defend their evil? And the reply, exactly. She's doing it for the money. Okay, well, hello, R. True Feather. Again, great comment. Remember, both are in the wrong at this point. I let you know in the case video that I really did want to see Cora laid to rest, 
but with what we had to work with, we had no choice. She may have needed to see things set right, but she couldn't really stay doing what she was doing either. This wasn't, you know, like that show, The Ghost Whisperer or something. This was real, and more children would have been killed. And as for the boys, yes, and who knows? What makes anyone do evil things? Is there a human glitch? Are people hit by an evil that directs them into certain acts? As a human on this earth, I cannot say for sure, and I don't know if anyone can. But yes, they did wrong, and in another world, maybe we could let Cora rip. But that's not the world we live in. People do get scared, and they ask for protection. Think of this. You know, not every policeman loves the person he's going to help. Not all doctors, for instance, love to help that murdering drug dealer who just got caught. But it's their job. And this job here, many levels deep. But there was a job, and we did get it done. That's what I do. Okay, next one here is from Solar Function, who says, Logan should have gave his life for his crimes. He does not deserve to be alive for such an unspeakable crime of being involved in two innocent people's deaths. Good point. And I wanted to include this one because let's think about this. I mean, yes, Logan and the boys did wrong. There is no denying that. But then Cora went on her revenge spree, putting all of her wrong out there as well. If you think about it, both Cora and Logan are now stuck. Cora needs to be laid to rest, and hopefully Logan took my advice and is doing something about that. And let's say that happens or doesn't, Logan still has a life to live, but is that good or bad? He has a lifetime of being scared. He will always know what happened to his friends and why. He will always know what he did to Cora and her child, while he watches his own children grow up. Without even getting to Logan, he's still going to be living some sort of form of torture for what he did, what his friends did. Lying about it all and getting the opportunity to live out his life while Cora did not, while her daughter did not. Think about it. His friends are still out there, suffering and in agony over what they did to their own children and knowing it's because of what they did to Cora and her daughter. And then they covered it up? How would you like to carry that around? In the end, would you want to live like Logan is destined to live? You see the cold cases out there, and oftentimes the criminal is glad to be caught because whatever it was they did weighs heavily on them, no matter what kind of life they went on to live. This will be the same for Logan. He will never be out there really having a good time or enjoying the life he's living. So who's to say Cora didn't get him in the end? The damage and destruction she did on her path to him was enough and then some to scar him for life. What he did, the reminder of it, is enough to scar him for life. He will never be able to avoid the memories of what went on here. And now his friends are in prison for life, death row. They killed their own children, children that didn't deserve it. I mean, I helped him, yes, but there's no way I'd want to be in his shoes either. All right, moving on to one from Heather Michelle, who says, that's so sad and creepy. Hello, Heather Michelle. This is well said, short and simple. And it's well said because that's what it was. It's a tragedy, really, for both sides. And like I said in the case story, you can believe it or not, but most likely you would want someone on your side if a revengeful spirit wanted you. At the end of the day, someone needed protecting here, and that was the job. Someone needs something, I take the job, that is what I do. At the end of the day with this case, keep in mind that her revenge was to torment the boys, now men, but she had to kill their kids to do it. The ultimate. Logan would have lived. He would have been on death row, in torment, yes, but he would have lived. It's the kids who really would have gotten her punishment. And why do they deserve to die? At their father's hands, no less. They would have been terrified. This case was very twisted. It's hard to say which side you should be on, really, but remember where the case picked up. There were no chances of shouldas or couldas by the time Logan was a target. By the time Logan got to me, the job was to protect him. Do what I could to stop the curse of Cora. And it's a job that I accepted. 
All right. Now, the last comment I'm going to bring up here is one I'm kind of throwing in for fun, but it's also a good point that some of you might be wondering. It's from Keith Bohan. Not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. Okay, he says, so does no one really notice that you use the same shadow talking of a hottie woman every video? Same head wiggles every story. I loved this comment, Keith. It actually made me giggle, but it's also a good thing to bring up. I hate to tell you, but no, I do sit there each time and I'm telling you each unique story while I'm sitting there. Each job, each case, it's me. There's no repeating or looping videos here. But thank you for trying to notice if I really am sitting there because it gives me the chance to tell all of you that yes, I am. Because I'm sure others wonder that also. So thanks again, Keith. It was a good chance for me to let people know this. I'm out in the field a lot, but I like to see the comments and I like to try to interact with you guys when I can. All right, and that wraps it up for today. Thank you so much for listening and like, subscribe, and find out when I post next. And I will talk to you guys soon.